Yes, welcome back to Why End the Morning Special. Thanks to Hilda Wathifi and Oguda Kayesu for that amazing uh, segment where we get to start our Wednesday on a laughing note, on a light note, as we tend towards the weekend. Uh, so my name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moore on every social media platform, and it's time for Strength of a Woman, as you will see later on on the screen right here. And in studio with me is a special lady. At the age of 23, she has done a PhD uh, in biomathematics, and she's a lecturer at the University of Strathmore, or Strathmore University, and she's yeah, in studio with us. Uh, she goes by the name Puri Dr. Purity Gena. Yes. Karibu sana, Doctor. Asante sana. All right, so if I left out anything mm. uh, in, your <laughs> <laughs> in your intro, mm. you can say it on camera one. Uh, okay, I'm uh -huh. Purity Gena, mm -hmm. doctor mm -hmm. in biomathematics. Uh -huh. I teach at Strathmore University mm -hmm. in the Institute of Mathematical Sciences. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's what I do in my free time. I visit schools to mm -hmm. talk to young girls and boys mm -hmm. to just help them. I transform. like that you said young girls and boys. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You it's don't not discriminate. just girls. No. No. Because uh -huh. uh, we need, as much as we want to build a woman, uh -huh. we need to build a man for that woman. Mm -hmm. I guess it's very important. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah. So Wise words already, <laughs> and you are not even a minute into the interview. As much as we need to build a woman, we need to build a good man for that woman. Exactly. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, take me back to your childhood. Where did where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Nyeri County. Uh -huh. uh, in Nyeri, stand up. Nyeri is represented <laughs> on Wine in the Morning. <laughs> I'm telling you. So. Uh -huh. And um, in Kafaru mm -hmm. Ward uh -huh. and uh, in Kenny Constituency. Mm -hmm. And then later I went to Nakuru uh -huh. for my bachelor's and uh -huh. my master's. Uh -huh. I was at Ijeton University, uh -huh. in Joro. Uh -huh. And then I came to Nairobi in 2016, uh -huh. where I joined Strathmore University to do my PhD. All right. And I cleared that last year uh -huh. in June. That's when I graduated. All right. When uh, when uh, when I was in school, not so many people carried on with their studies. Many people went into the world of employment, world of business. Mm. People want that money because they've been broke for it's for true. five years it's in my true. case. Uh, what held you back to stay in school and just carry on with your studies? Uh, for sure, I also got those mixed feelings. Should uh -huh. I do my master's or uh -huh. should I first go and work? Mm -hmm. but, I, but but feel I felt I needed to become better for right. my own self. And mm -hmm. I'm saying those who have degrees are not better. Mm -hmm. I believe everyone has where you want to go. Uh -huh. You have goals, what you want to do, mm -hmm. and you give priorities. So for mm -hmm. me, uh, I know in life there are many other things that I've not achieved. Uh -huh. But education is one of the things that but I felt is important. But there are so many important. you have achieved as well. Uh, just in education line, uh -huh. in academia, of of course, life is more to there, there's so there's much. more to life yeah, than, yeah, exactly. than academia. Uh, exactly. Uh -huh. So, but for me, when I was at Tijaton University, mm -hmm. I knew that I needed to do my masters. Right. As much as I came from a humble family, I mm -hmm. really wanted to prove to myself that yeah, you, you can do this thing. Uh, uh -huh. And the voices that are out there that as a woman you cannot. I really wanted to prove to my own self that yes, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that a man can do this, mm -hmm. a woman can even do it, mm -hmm. uh, probably in a better way. Or they mm -hmm. can. I mean, I mean, so for that, I pushed on mm -hmm. when I did my bachelor's. I graduated with a first class honors. Uh -huh. Makes a lot of sense. Yes. So it didn't cost you so much to do the master's no, degree no. program. Yeah, because I got, got a scholarship. When uh -huh. I got um, first class honors, uh -huh. uh, Ijeton University I was, was very kind to me. Uh -huh. They gave me a scholarship to do my master's. Uh -huh. And um, when I was doing my master's, it was quite interesting because most of the time you're told you cannot finish a master's within two years. Uh -huh. And surprisingly, I started my master's in 2013. Uh -huh. And in 2015, I graduated. And uh -huh. Ijeton is a public university where people will tell you, you cannot do this, you cannot do this. Uh -huh. But for sure, I knew you, you can, if uh -huh. you want it, All if right. you really want to do something, mm -hmm. and you're self-driven, and mm -hmm. you're motivated from within you, rather uh -huh. than from without, then you're going to do this. And I graduated, and that is how I joined Strathmore University. Uh -huh. And luckily, again, I got a scholarship. Uh -huh. I was sponsored by the DAD, is a uh -huh. German kind of exchange program. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, they sponsored my PhD, and that is how my education life has been. So do you attribute this to luck or there's hard work as well the, involved? A lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. A lot of hard work. I, uh -huh. I mean, someone said hard work beats talent. I get it's uh -huh. Smith, the great actor. Uh -huh. I, 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 For sure, you cannot, even what you're doing, mm -hmm. it is it takes hard work. It takes a lot work. of hard yeah, work and practice. A lot of hard work practice. I like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, true. There's a phrase that was popularized by uh, Miguna Miguna mm. before he left the country. <laughs> and it goes something like, what was the title of your dissertation? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> my 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 title was on uh, management, optimal uh -huh. management of HIV, of HIV uh, patients. Of mm -hmm. course, we are looking at the drugs, uh -huh. and um, which is the most effective because optimality is that most effective thing. Uh -huh. And you know, when you talk about the effective of something, what are mm -hmm. you looking into? Mm -hmm. Most of the people would assume it's just the money. Mm -hmm. Other people will assume is how it reduces the viral load. But mm -hmm. then there are many things that you need to incorporate. Mm -hmm. Is it? Uh, resorting to resistance, mm -hmm. assuming I have HIV and I have diabetes, mm -hmm. is there any drug interaction? Mm -hmm. So those are the things we wanted to actually get to know. Mm -hmm. Within the three, uh, I was working on uh, fusion inhibitors. These are drugs that help to protect or prevent the entry of the mm -hmm. virus in the CD4 cells. Uh -huh. And then there's another drug we call the reverse transcriptive inhibitor that try mm -hmm. to ensure that the reverse transcription process mm -hmm. does not take place because all, viral, all viruses are RNA. So mm -hmm. for them to make food, they need to be reverse transcribed to DNA. Uh -huh. So we have a drug it that tried to... It's a biology class. Yeah, right. to, uh -huh. uh, and then we have another one that is protease, uh, inhib uh, protease uh, drug or protease uh -huh. inhibitor. What this drug helps is that uh, f when the virus already, they have made enough food, they mm -hmm. need to be released back to their blood system. Uh -huh. So it ensures that the, the released virus are mm -hmm. defectives. Uh -huh. That means they cannot really infect any other. So we wanted uh -huh. to see within these three categories, uh -huh. which is the most effective. Mm -hmm. And if it is effective then, mm -hmm. is it what the government uh -huh. is used to, yeah, okay. is, is bringing to the country. Can uh -huh. we assist in bringing uh -huh. more insight to mm -hmm. the, the people making policies and tell uh -huh. them, yes, this is what you're doing, but mm -hmm. can you take this kind of, uh, rather than what you've been doing, can mm -hmm. we change, can we shift? And of course, it's an ongoing project. It's uh, an ongoing project. Yeah, we're still continuing uh -huh. with my... It's not published yet. No, I've published three papers. We can find it online? Yes. All right, if how can they get uh, a hold of your published papers? If your you camera is number one. If you want to get my papers, uh -huh. uh, so far I've published six papers. Uh -huh. Three I published when doing my master's. Of course, uh -huh. it's not on HIV, but mm -hmm. on HIV I've published three. Mm -hmm. And if you just Google Purity Modoni Gena mm -hmm. publications uh -huh. on HIV, uh -huh. you're going to get three papers yes. that are already online. Uh -huh. And of course, I'm working on one which I sent. It has been uh, accepted, just waiting for it to be published. No so social media platforms, just uh, Google Purity. Uh, uh, Purity, Mudoni, Gena, publications, publications on HIV. On HIV. Because I have we'll other publications, them. yeah. All right, so you had like, um, you had your, the outcome of the, of the research. You had your results. Yeah, true. Uh, are there any recommendations you've made? Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Uh, uh, <coughs> there, there's so many. First mm -hmm. is that uh, what is being currently done, we need to really look into that. Because mm -hmm. most of the time, um, we, we try to just take policies uh -huh. from probably other countries, uh -huh. but we don't Without test understanding it. our own problems. Our, yeah. Our, yeah, our own problems. I uh -huh. was recently watching um, some some program where someone was saying that we have deficit of ARVs. Uh -huh. I, I can't say that with a lot of certainty, but someone uh -huh. was saying in a national television. Uh -huh. And I asked myself, why should that happen? And uh -huh. looking back, we now have test and treat. So everyone, if you, you're positive, you can be you can be you can take ARVs. I, I don't know whether when they say test and treat, they mm -hmm. ensure that we have enough mm -hmm. ARVs to take care of the new people uh -huh. who, who are getting infected. Yeah, who are, uh -huh. They're actually infected only that uh, Kitambo, you had to wait for your CD4 cells to, to, to go down. Uh -huh. Now, whether you got infected yesterday or today and you're positive, uh -huh. you start uh, the, the ART. Uh -huh. So I guess there are many things that we need to look into. Uh -huh. And um, of course, continue encouraging people to mm -hmm. understand and to be aware of their mm -hmm. own status. Mm -hmm. um, uh, sometimes it's, it's very funny because even us, you talk about know your own status and mm -hmm. I ask my most of the people whom we are working on the same, mm -hmm. do you really know your own status? And someone mm -hmm. would say, okay, probably no, they have not. So, so I guess we need to take this initiative because mm -hmm. for us to work on this uh, problem, mm -hmm. then everybody needs to mm -hmm. play a very important role. It's mm -hmm. not left to academia or people in the National Aid Council. Of course, they, they're doing a lot for sure. Mm -hmm. Kenya is one of the countries where if you go back to the history uh -huh. and where we have come, we, uh -huh. we have come a long way and uh, I, I think the government is doing something. Even in the health, uh, health sector. Exactly, usually. exactly. Right. Especially on HIV. We have a looming lecturer strike, uh, uh, not lecturer mm. strike, uh, nurses strike. Uh, so that's up for debate, uh, what the government has done so far. Mm. Uh, but there's progress we can see. A lot of progress. You know, uh -huh. we, I, I mean, Getting even these ARTs for free uh -huh. is, is not 
It's not easy. Uh -huh. If you go to other countries, I visited Germany, and they spend a lot of money buying these right. drugs. So uh -huh. the fact that if I'm infected, I can uh -huh. go to a CCC comprehensive care uh -huh. center. Get a free test. Exactly. Get a free medication yes, after, and, and get free counseling. And given supplements yeah, as well. So, so there's progress. There's a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. But right. a lot need to be done. Because uh -huh. you can imagine since this uh, disease was documented the first time in 1983 in the US. Mm -hmm. And we're still talking about it. Actually in Kenya we have like about 1.5. Five million of people, mm -hmm. and if you look at the, uh, the 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 every time that people are tested and the results are out, and mm -hmm. I, I guess the last statistics we had a lot of new infection mm -hmm. amongst the youth mm -hmm. between the fifteen between the age of fifteen and twenty four, mm -hmm. which is very heartbreaking. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes I sit down and try to imagine. Most of us at an age of fifteen to twenty four, you didn't go for a test, uh -huh. so. Kind we of never my own even imagination is that going, uh -huh. everybody who went for that test uh -huh. might have been tested positive. I'm not uh -huh. saying with uh -huh. a lot of certainty, but if you check at those new kind of infection, uh -huh. uh, it's not something that we, we can be proud of. Because so we need a solution we, for we, it. We really need a solution. With a background in, uh, in mathematics mm. and a little bit of statistics, mm. uh, what do you attribute this to? Uh, the new infections uh, coming from the age of 15 to 24? I, we I, always I, want to blame something. Give us something <laughs> to blame. I really don't know whom to blame on this one because uh -huh. I believe everyone has been told. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the information is out there, mm -hmm. how to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, I guess everyone needs to probably, I would say, abstain mm -hmm. uh, at that age until you get to the right time where you get mm -hmm. a partner and get married. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, that is not that what is happening. There's a lot mm -hmm. of information, but uh, there are the probably who are born with it, mm -hmm. and that one I would blame probably the parent because now you can take a, a drug and uh -huh. you, you get a child who is can save your child yeah, from yeah, it you, yeah, even yeah. if so you if that uh -huh. is the case i i think uh then there need to be a lot of uh people trained on how why mm -hmm. it is important but stigmatization is real uh -huh. is real uh we were discussing with one of my colleagues called dr collins and mm -hmm. he was telling me that people work from far especially in mount kenya region mm -hmm. because you don't want you know comprehensive care centers is in your village uh -huh. and the nurse there is uh -huh. also a person is a member yeah, of the yeah. village so uh -huh. you can imagine if you go there uh -huh. the she has all the information yes, of the infected people exactly uh -huh. and you go there at the same time mm -hmm. so you you're going with your kijiji Everybody uh, is there. Uh, so the, the and there's like one day for collecting the drugs also. That so you come in groups. Y yes, uh -huh. and these people come from your own village, so uh -huh. they might tell other people All right. that you you infected. Which people are scared? Yeah, or, if uh -huh. everybody is scared to be known, so uh -huh. they walk for far distances. To they go, go to another one in another you, you village. Can you somewhere. imagine? All right. It's so sad. I, I guess so we need to work on the stigmatization exactly. part first. Uh, we need uh, for people. me, if you, someone tells me they are positive, I don't see them as a lesser human being. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel they're still part of me. Uh -huh. I walk with them. Uh -huh. I love them even more. Uh -huh. And I guess everyone should do that because. Uh -huh. We all need love. Uh -huh. We all need love. So you we know? need to understand uh, stigma is uh, is a hindrance to it the fight against it HIV. It is. It uh -huh. is. If we keep talking about 1990, 1990, uh -huh. uh, I don't think how much we're going to achieve that. If uh -huh. you, if your friend tells you, uh, "Hi, I'm, I'm positive," mm -hmm. and you're like, you start even tweeting it on social media, mm -hmm. uh, something we, we have seen. We make them yeah. scared <laughs> of coming out. <laughs> exactly. I like that. All right. So uh, the uh, we have the big four agenda. Health is a major pillar to it, and I see. Uh, your line of mathematics, you've tended it more towards uh, the health sector. Uh, so uh, we were having a conversation about uh, uh, multi, multi, uh, what do you call it? Multidisciplinary approach yeah, sure. to this health thing, mm -hmm. where we have everybody in every thing they do. Uh, we have from mechanics to doctors like you having a role to play in this uh, sustainable healthcare. Uh, what can you say about this? For sure, everyone <laughs> needs to play a role. Mm -hmm. And um, as a mathematician, mm -hmm. and I feel maths is one of the, um, the subjects that mm -hmm. is applicable everywhere. Because just to give you an example, if you want to know what will happen after 10 years to a patient, mm -hmm. you cannot test any medicine using that patient for 10 years to mm -hmm. know the outcomes. You can only use mathematics to tell you what happens if mm -hmm. you increase the time horizon. Mm -hmm. a and, I, I, and I believe mathematicians like me in applied and those who are in statistics can help the government because the data will be out there, but we mm -hmm. need someone to analyze it, someone mm -hmm. to 
project what is likely to happen. As mm -hmm. much as the medicine is there, uh, the people are being told you need to have insurance, which mm -hmm. is very important. I keep telling my people, if you don't have insurance, you should not be my friend. Because mm -hmm. I guess everyone should be taking initiative and pay the 500 shillings, mm -hmm. I think the minimum. Mm -hmm. And I'm lucky to come from Nyeri County, where the piloting was done. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, the, the global yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and even just playing a simple role by telling your friends, mm -hmm. a group of your friends, like, mm -hmm. you must have insurance. Uh -huh. You must have insurance. So knowledge is very important, yes. number one. And, uh -huh. and telling them the importance. Of course, uh, people will ask you, if you go to hospital, sometimes they're going to reject the N NHIF. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, there's a lot of things that need to be done to ensure that if, um, um, if I have insurance, I can get um, quality Mm -hmm. health services in any hospital mm -hmm. and I guess probably that is why most people are scared to, right. to just continue paying others go to private kind of insurance uh -huh. uh, so that because they'll be assured but I guess everybody need to play a role even a simple by telling someone uh -huh. and if you have your elder parents paying for them uh -huh. I mean 500 shillings is the sacrifice they made when you were young uh -huh. I, if my mom was there I would, I would have really paid the 500 and to ensure uh -huh. that she, she's insured actually if you don't have Good health. Mm -hmm. That is when you you, you you get to know the, uh -huh. the importance of So what I'm getting up. from you, knowledge mm -hmm. is very important and we all need to be insured. True. Make sure. You True. never know when you're going to fall sick. Yeah. And you never know when you're going to yeah, need that insurance. Yeah, everyone needs to be insured. Everybody. Right. I like that. Yeah. The census is coming up. Mm -hmm. As a mathematician, mm -hmm. and maybe you've checked out uh, the, <laughs> the the parameters that they check or uh, the, that they have in the in the criteria of taking the data. Maybe they come to a person, they ask certain questions. Mm. Uh, I don't know the questions in particular, but what would you want them to do better? What other data would you like them to get from the people? Uh, I, I guess because uh, most of the time we are talking about unemployment, uh -huh. and uh, let me mention you saw that uh, that story of the the Rono mm -hmm. Ruth who was who had a first class, and unfortunately she couldn't get a job. I guess uh -huh. we need to understand the yes, and we have the three. Uh, Thika, the three musketeers in Thika who robbed a bank, they were all graduates mm. and they never got jobs. <laughs> we yeah, cannot true, forget true, them. True. Can uh -huh. If, if they, they really want to get to know the number of people who are out there mm -hmm. with skills, uh -huh. I guess it can cam, come out from such a sense as where uh -huh. you, do you have a job, what do you do? Uh -huh. I mean, something like that, so that we are aware of uh -huh. the kind of, you know, we keep talking about there's no em employment, we, we don't have people educated, we don't have mm -hmm. skills, you know. We need to know purity mm -hmm in this line, purity mm -hmm. but doesn't have a job. Mm -hmm. So that by the end of the day, when the government is saying that we have created this number of jobs, uh -huh. we get to understand this number of jobs was given to this number of people. Uh -huh. And how many and other people... And they've created them yeah. according to the requirements exactly. of their population. And how many right. people do we have still mm -hmm. who have not yet uh, employed? But, but, but looking at that, when that story of that lady came out, mm -hmm. and I could see many people offering her a job, I asked myself, is it that they are jobs? <laughs> Only that <laughs> <laughs> they're keeping them for their own people. Uh -huh. You know, there were so many offers, mm -hmm. right? There were mm -hmm. so many yes, and, I good saw this. Ones, yes. and good ones. If uh -huh. it is not PR, it means uh -huh. someone is sleeping uh -huh. on his job. There's a job somewhere? Yes. Because people apply daily. People keep applying, applying for jobs. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so you ask yourself, what, what is really happening? Mm -hmm. How come that there are seven opportunities now? All of a opportunities all yes. of a sudden. So maybe it's the lack of statistic or data. Uh, exactly. Uh -huh. There's no data or probably you don't even know if we can have um, a place where a bank mm -hmm. of people leaving universities with different courses, uh -huh. what they have done. Mm -hmm. I, it would be easier for, uh -huh. for an employer to mm -hmm. get there, see this, this, this purity in she did this and this and this. Uh, can mm -hmm. she fit? Uh, I mean, is she qualified? Yes mm -hmm. or no? And then you can go can to the Can even have person. the yeah. recommendations from the lecturers exactly. as well. Exactly. I'd like to take you back to class now. Mm -hmm. um, enough of the sad stories. How is uh, interacting with students like? Because I'm guessing some are barely, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 some are older than you, some are uh, almost your age because mm -hmm. uh, you're quite young. Uh, fortunately, I've been teaching uh, younger children <laughs> than me uh, at Strathmore. Uh, cause, um, so, so yeah, but we have a very nice kind of relationship. Um, I've never had a student disrespect me. Actually, one of my rules is when I go to class, the first time I give them my number and my email. And surprisingly, they will only call me to talk about the things that I'm teaching them and when necessary. So I, I, I like that because sometimes you, you can get some other kind of funny things that right. can scare you. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've never experienced and I, I think fast 
is because because I, I I show them love, so yeah. they also treat me love with a lot. Yeah, with love a lot of respect. It, 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 right. it is very important. When you are in campus, I'm mm. pretty sure there are some uh, traits uh, from lecturers that you didn't li really like. Uh, tell me some of them that you said I'm going to improve on this when I get uh, my job uh, in school, like this one. I I think for me is just being down there, mm -hmm. allowing the student to relate with you nicely. Mm -hmm. They can. Sp they, they don't even have to come tell me the problems about the mathematics courses I'm teaching. They mm -hmm. can even open up. Because mm -hmm. you see, as young person, and I'm young like them, we are mm -hmm. going through a lot of things that you need someone who can really mm -hmm. work with you. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess me for me, opening up, my, my space and allowing mm -hmm. them to get in in that space mm -hmm. and being my friends mm -hmm. uh, that is something you you might not find in um, many universities because mm -hmm. people are like either everybody's busy anyway so you mm -hmm. might not get time but I try to ensure that I ask them how are you doing you know just trying to relate them with them well if mm -hmm. you see someone is not happy mm -hmm. you follow up you know okay. so for me that is something I made a deliberate decision to mm -hmm. do and um I don't think there's anything much I didn't like about my lecturers because uh, <laughs> I guess most of the time students uh -huh. who are not who who really don't work hard complain mm -hmm. so much. But if we you have do some <laughs> images of you on screen right here, maybe we are throwing you back to DVD. Uh, uh, so where is this? This is at Strathmore University. Mm -hmm. uh, was actually line of duty. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are an office uh, occupied by my boss, Dr. M Rachel Mboga. Mm -hmm. So we were just having a chat. Mm -hmm. Actually, this day I'd come, I'd gone to get an award from um, um, Democracy Trust Fund. Mm -hmm. So they, they recognized me as a woman in STEM. Mm -hmm. And I was coming from that place and I wanted to tell my boss, you know. All yeah, right, all right, all right. For some evidence. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have evidence of this as well. <laughs> all right, so uh, I'd like to know, uh, what next for you? Oh, a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. Just give me a short-term plan. Uh, I hear you'll be traveling sometime soon. But before we talk about that, mm. this is another picture uh, of you. Uh, what is happening here? This is after I got my PhD. Uh -huh. That is our. Um, that is a, on 29th of June. The Australia. picture yeah. is self-explanatory. Yeah, There's so much you. happiness on your face. I, I was excited, but uh -huh. uh, of of course that was my first graduation. That I graduated, and my mom was not alive. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much right. as there's that smile out there, there's uh -huh. some inside there you're like, oh, what if mom wish? was here yeah. to see? You? All right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, true. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of emotions when mm -hmm. you, you your parents are not there to celebrate your success. All right. Um, we have another picture here. Uh, I see gentlemen in ties <laughs> sitting down taking notes from you. What is happening? So I'd gone to Dragoretti High School uh -huh. and I was uh, talking to the Form Fours, mm -hmm. just trying them to help them transform from mm -hmm. who they are now to mm -hmm. where probably they want to get. And mm -hmm. this is a Form Four class, of course, uh, very hopeful. Mm -hmm. and this was a very early morning I'd gone there at 6 30 because mm -hmm. we didn't want to interrupt the program uh -huh. I do this most of the time try uh -huh. to uh, actually you know most of us were in academia you uh -huh. don't want to go to school to talk to children uh -huh. but then if you don't go how uh -huh. will they come to the university all right yeah you know you need to go to them so that uh -huh. when they are prepare coming, them yeah prepare for this them. And make the them same, ambitious enough yeah this one I come. went to Matunda uh -huh. in Kitale it is Matunda far in Kitale. but let me tell you something I discovered this is a purely day school uh -huh. And out of the number, I can't remember the number, can you imagine 65 students will be joining university? All right, And wonderful. most of us are so obsessed with uh -huh. taking our children to national school, right? Uh -huh. But at this school like this... Not most of us, I think all of us. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh -huh. <laughs> at this school like this, having 65 students. And in mathematics, they had... Um, they were number two in Kakamega County. Uh -huh. And that is something that was very... And people have always looked down upon day schools. Yeah, yeah. What is the message you're trying to preach with the, this? The, the, any school is a good school. Uh -huh. And as much as any school is a good school, we should not be obsessed. Uh -huh. It is about what you get there. It's not mm -hmm. the school. Mm -hmm. It's the knowledge you're gaining. And these uh -huh. teachers have gone through the same training. Uh -huh. in Someone in, a, in Alliance School, because me, I'm a teacher by training. Uh -huh. I've been trained by the same lecturers. Uh -huh. Only that probably the resources might be different. But uh -huh. you choose to go there and work rather than right. complaining. So that it's was never about the school. It's, it's about never. what you do. It's about you as a person, uh -huh. you as a student. When you get to that school, mm -hmm. what do you do? And I guess also parents uh, play a very important role. You know, uh -huh. if you're taking me to a school and you're telling me, ah, that is just a day school. Mm -hmm. in, there was a time in you know, my village, people <laughs> used to take children to another day school. Now uh, they used to say, let me quote, uh -huh. Gati, do, a place you just go. <laughs> Spend the day. Quote again. Uh, so <laughs> the Come back in the evening. The fellas who understand, you yeah. can get it faster. <laughs> Just say it one more time. 
Gatido. Gatido. Yeah. All right. So you go, uh -huh. spend the day, mm -hmm. come back home. All right. So what is the message? Mm -hmm. That you're not going there to learn. You've just gone there to pass time. Uh, so parents always need to encourage yes, their students, encourage no matter your, where yeah, they land. Yeah, yeah. Because they can always the get from there uh, going up. Yeah, whichever the Wonderful. school. Wonderful. Wise yeah. words from mm. uh, Puritan mm. Gina here, mm. Dr. Puritan Gina. I won't miss the doctor again. <laughs> uh, so White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Uh, don't forget your name and where you're watching us from. And keep your views, your comments, and your questions. Come and direct them to Dr. Uh, Puritan Gina herself. We have a picture on screen right here tulichimba sana tulikuchimba sana 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 we are I sorry see. i apologize on behalf of my crew but what is going on here oh uh. Uh, this is my fiance all right he's called uh, he's an engineer uh -huh. he's a lecturer at Tijato university um uh -huh. yeah so mm -hmm. uh, he loves me all right and i love him all right i was uh, reading an article uh -huh. uh, by one of by uh, ceo of uh -huh. the 21st uh farm something uh, mm -hmm. he, she talked about gender uh -huh. and she said for a career woman uh -huh. is either you only have two choices uh -huh. you get a very supportive man uh -huh. or no partner so i guess for him he's really supportive uh -huh. he if i want today now if uh -huh. I, I i've been saying he, if i get someone to sponsor me i would go do my postdoc for two years uh -huh. and he doesn't worry he's uh -huh. not so scared he's not intimidated yeah never the he's smart like guy as well yeah he's like, <laughs> right how did you guys meet we met in Germany. Oh, you met in Germany. Yeah. What were you doing in Germany? I had going to do my PhD, and uh -huh. him, he was doing his master's uh -huh. in uh, electrical engineering. So do you speak German as well? <laughs> no, like, uh -huh. but I know ich bin uh -huh. aus Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to all our German viewers, ich, ich bin. <laughs> all right, to all our German viewers, ich bin. Like that. So you met in Germany. You yes. are the only two Kenyans in that particular school. No, 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 no. Actually, we were not in the same school. Uh -huh. we, we went to the same university, in Egerton University, mm -hmm. but that did not click like anything all is going then. to happen. Yeah, exactly. You were busy. Yeah, we were both busy, uh -huh. and he's a very smart guy uh -huh. to get a scholarship to do his master's in uh -huh. Germany. So he, we, we met there. Like now, when you met in Germany. And, uh, Spot. Yeah, we uh -huh. decided, can we try this? And uh, our wedding is You're soon. here now. Mm. What is happening here? So this time I'd be invited by Father Steven to uh -huh. talk to the youths. Uh -huh. So yeah, of, uh, after that they wanted me to get a token. Uh -huh. And that is what is happening. This is in Ruiru. Oh, this is in Ruiru. Yeah, so I was talking to the young, 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 young people. Uh -huh. Between right. the age of 18 to 20, I guess, yeah. Wonderful. I like what you're doing to the community at mm. large and what you're doing for yourself and all the best in your wedding. Are we invited? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No invite. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What is happening here? So this time I <laughs> went to two rivers and <laughs> I was amazed by this guy. You know, Kazi Nikazi. Uh -huh. This guy is so jovial. You know, there's a guy and he's like, can we take a photo? And he's so excited. Uh -huh. This is in two rivers. Uh -huh. and uh, I, I mean, these are places where you learn things. Uh -huh. Kazi Nikazi, whichever mm -hmm place you are mm -hmm. can you love your job uh -huh. and i guess that is one of the most important cousin cousin and kazi. less respect yeah yeah what yeah. all right so we have another one right yeah, here so this what happened is that where i live we uh -huh. have new bakumi initiative uh -huh. so my 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 my, my friends and with my the tenants in the same place mm -hmm. they decided to celebrate me after graduation mm -hmm. and because my mom was not alive and they knew i would have loved her to be there they mm -hmm. drew this thing for me this is me and this is mama uh -huh. just drawn and it's it's so pretty and the fact that, that the people you you didn't know you uh -huh. you're just living in the same neighborhood and i know they you cherish you. this so much i May love her it so Rest yeah, in yeah, peace. I love it. And keep representing it <laughs> well. You've done well so far. Thank and you. And keep doing it. Uh, so we'll get to the feedback. This is a feedback. Before we sample the feedback, don't even look at it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. How can they uh, find you on social media? Oh, so I mm -hmm. have a um, page, Dr. Mm -hmm. Purity Ngina. Mm -hmm. I have a Facebook, whatever, normal Purity Wagina. Mm -hmm. I'm on Twitter, mm -hmm. Purity Ngina. I'm on um, I'm on Instagram, Purity mm -hmm. But I guess Facebook is what for me. Uh, right. I love doing. I'm also uh, I I post things online. Uh -huh. So I mean YouTube. Motivational uh, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I I when I wake up and there's something I feel is important, I just uh -huh. throw it out there because uh -huh. I believe everyone needs another voice to remind you why we are all in this planet. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. So this is from Facebook. Uh, we have all all in gray. Anasema locked out to Marish. Kinjo Wamaina Puri. I love you.
from your home village yeah, it's a mass rush Mumbai. you know this guy yeah yeah, yeah. all right shout yeah. out to you kinjo maina uh, i know you're proud of fugiti she made it valozi ken artist from kitale says i call locked peer we appreciate everybody who sends their feedback our way we have abigail muiruri says karen uh nikotune sana all right, Patrick Karuke anasema locked in, Naivasha tuned, Dennis Okongo, uh, Nyamato anasema kisi, Niko tuned. <laughs> I like the spelling of tune. All right, uh, Sam Des Salunis anasema Zima man base in, Felix Kiptui anasema tune kabisa, Val. Yes, one if Val. Waweru wa signature anasema present in class. Thank you very much because we have had a class as well. We have had a lesson from Dr. Uh, Purity herself. So another question that is coming <coughs> from one of our viewers here is, uh, what is the difference between a doctor and a professor when all of you have PhDs or uh, PhD holders? Yeah, there's so much difference. Uh -huh. uh, a professor is more advanced career-wise because uh -huh. uh, now I'm a just a lecturer. Mm -hmm. But for you to get to the professor, you need to be a senior lecturer. Mm -hmm. You become an associate professor. All that you need to go then through Then you before. become a professor. Wow. So what you need to do to get there, first supervise students. Mm -hmm. I need to supervise students uh, taking their master's in biomathematics. Mm -hmm. I need to supervise a PhD student before I get there. And you have to publish many papers. Actually, for you to grow career-wise, you know, mm -hmm. the, number, the number of students you teach mm -hmm. is the research uh -huh. you do and the quality and the mm -hmm. papers you publish. Uh -huh. right. And for me, that is what I want to be known of, of if you mention biomathematics then you should not leave purity in Ghana. <laughs> uh, so you want to yeah. leave an impact for yeah, sure. For sure. All so right. that's what I want to do. Uh -huh. And more importantly, help other women mm -hmm. grow and mm -hmm. believe in them their their own selves and their mm -hmm. own skin. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you you saw the the Slater versus whatever mm -hmm. thing trending on Twitter. Uh -huh. And when I went there I was like, is it that we are so obsessed with what you see uh -huh. rather than who I am? the objectification yes yes of exactly women. most right. of us women we we probably want to be defined by what other people see and uh -huh. that is for me i am just like this i i, I really like myself the way i am uh -huh. so even when someone come and tell me purity you need to do this mm -hmm. I really can't do that. I am going to give you a story that is very funny. I uh -huh. had some sofas like these ones sometimes. Mm -hmm. And um, I, when I went to Germany, I wanted to shift the house, so I wanted to dispose. Mm -hmm. I thought I had the best. You know, like mm -hmm. the best. You know how yeah, you trust in yourself. Yeah, yes. And, you trust and in I told yourself. my friend, can we dispose them? And she was like, I, I don't think anybody is going to buy this one. And I was like, <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> Surprisingly, when we posted uh -huh. online, uh -huh. the comment we got, I realized, okay, do I live in a very in a box that I don't know what people really, yeah, you like know those, uh, right. uh -huh. that means it's a kitambo. Uh -huh. but, but for me, it, it shows that whatever I have is what I like. Uh -huh. Whatever you have, I celebrate it, uh -huh. but I won't be jealous uh -huh. and I won't do anything to take uh -huh. it. All I'll right. just be contented with mm -hmm. my own skin, my uh -huh. own, my, my own me. Uh -huh. And that is where most of us fail. And that is the message you're preaching. Yeah. I was about to tell you to speak a message of inspiration mm. to the ladies. You already did it without <laughs> me asking. So one last question. Do you think we are ready for a, for a woman president as a country? I, we are. Mm -hmm. We are. Um, I, I, I guess um, everybody, surprisingly, <laughs> need a woman. <laughs> To, it doesn't have to you marrying a woman. You need uh, you had a mother. You have sisters, and you need them in your life. So, and you 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 can see that families where the the women are there. Me raised by a single mother. I I, I can use that as a model to show how. Without the struggle she went through, she made me who I am. Can you imagine if she ha we had her as the president of this country? She would make this country better. And um, it's so unfortunate that we're even yet to, s to pass the gender rules, so I don't know whether we are yet to even mm -hmm. appreciate uh, the, the women we have. But uh, I, I, was, I was reading something uh, that most of the time we are obsessed with he for she, but should be he for he and she for everybody because uh, a woman will grow this country. And I'm not saying that men cannot grow the country. They have done a tremendous job, but we need everybody in board. I, I, I mean, I, one of the person I admire is uh, Monica Juma. Uh, the, there's something in her that, uh, that I see. And if I'm given a chance to... Mm -hmm. Like say that this is a president of uh -huh. this country, I'll uh -huh. do that because you can vouch for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she is so. Uh, she, there's something in her that you can see. Um, 
uh, can 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 move this economy somewhere. Right. Uh, that right. is one of the thank women. Thank you very that, much. No. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate you yeah. for coming. Yeah. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, keep bettering this country. Keep supporting the girl child. Keep supporting the boy child. And keep being an awesome lecturer to your students. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yes, we. It doesn't get better than this on strength of a woman, Doctor Purity Ngina. Uh, if you'd like to read a public a publication, head straight to Google Doctor Purity Ngina publications on HIV. Right. Uh, that's the way to find her publications. She has done so much work on this, and, and currently she is a lecturer at the Strathmore University. True. True. Uh, and uh, she's looking to become a professor sometime soon. Six years. Six years mm. from now. Mm. Yes, I like the way you're giving me that. I like that so much. Karibu uh, Tana in the morning. Whenever you have another agenda to push that you think this country would like to know about, we welcome you to Why in the morning. Yes, I go by the name of Bai Moses or It's Bai Mon every social media platform. Kalamival is coming through with Girls Talk, so don't touch that down.